Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Luck Light Plays. Uh, we're doing a little bonus episode today. Um, I wanted to see uh, how long Lubu kind of stalks you from place to place. Uh, usually you just recruit him right when you get the gem sword. But I wanted to see how long he tends to follow you. If he follows you past Dong Zhuo's levels, through uh, Yuan Shu's levels, and maybe even to Yuan Chao's levels. So what I did was I have only Guan Yu and Zhang Fei right now, but I threw in some cheat codes and jacked him up to uh, level 41 and uh, equipped him with halberds. So we'll be able to slice a path through these guys. And we're actually going to just walk through and see how many battles he follows you with. So obviously they're not going to be difficult. Uh, we're just seeing how long because usually I've always just grabbed him right when I should. So, makes you wonder. How many chances do you get? So, we're just gonna auto battle our way through. There's nothing to worry about. That was Hulao Gate when we first fought him. That was, uh, that's normal. So far, so good. I don't need to talk to him. Alright, so that's the first, uh, Fight with Dong Zhuo, he's supposed to be here, that's fine. Alright, keep going. Now I've turned off, uh, I've thrown in a code for turning off random battles too, so shouldn't have to worry about that either. Alright, so this is where I usually recruit him, right here. So if I beat him... Doesn't say anything new. So let's go through the cave. If I remember how. Screw the items, whatever. On the other side. This is Chang An. Dong Min and Fen Chao, that's normal. Alright, so he's here now. It's usually just the three guys. But I wonder if he goes far there. Because, I mean, normally in storyline, he, um... We grab him, he joins us, he helps us fight through, um... Yuan Shu. And then turns traitor. So I wonder if that, uh, I guess I have to do something here. No, I might probably have to invite Lord Liu Bei in. Sorry about this, I didn't... I usually don't just jump through. Yeah, please rest. Alright, can I go now? Nope. They really make you go through this storyline, I guess. Alright, 
So yeah, go after you on shoe. Got it. Can we go now? Alright, now we can go. So if I walk down here... Am I gonna run face first into Lubu? No, I do not. Which makes me wonder if he joins the Lubu fight. Or he just appears in Yuan Shao normally. up here. Because Lu uh, Lubu almost joined Yuan Shu in the storyline, so that's where I'm kind of getting this from. So we'll see. Prepare to die. Yep, there's Lubu. Right there. So he does show up in more fights than he's supposed to. Also, if you let him go, uh, he joins the Yuan Chao fight. I preps. I think I said that during that phase. So here's another thing. I wonder what happens if you try to do this fight. Can I beat him here? Oh no, you're always cut off guard. Yeah, so Lubu is just there naturally. He doesn't say, you know, I will join you on show. So, there you go. Alright, so, there is one more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, this is actually um, kind of a glitch in the Japanese version, but doesn't happen in the um, in the American version because they fixed it. But using codes, we can break it open again. So let me open my cheat menu and turn off the random battle nullifier there and turn on the walk through walls code. So if I walk up through these mountains here, you can go past where I'm supposed to go. Now right here, you're going to fight normal fights. That's fine. But if I keep going, we're now, like, we've kind of broken the game, we're off the map, so we're just in kind of dummy data right now. And you run into what they call super forces, which have abysmal, abysmal strength. Because the game is reading off code that it shouldn't be reading. But they have enormous amounts of hit points. And you'll see that they uh, they don't hit that hard despite all of their uh, all of their hit points because they have that abysmal strength. So there was an area in the game uh, in the Japanese version right around I believe the shoe area, very close to the shoe area, that there was one strip of these guys that you could fight, and you know obviously terrifying to see, but. They're not that tough. 
and they could give you heaps and heaps of experience points, and you could grind to level 50 right away. Look at all that experience. Um, they fixed it in the American version, but using this cheat, we can run into them. And you can see that it takes very little to level you up to max. So now I'm level 45. I think there's there's bandit forces and there's I think there's also rebel forces. So let's see if we can run into the rebel ones as well. So we can go into more of the glitched area here. Yeah, see, there's the rebel guys. Sometimes they have 24,000, sometimes they have 53,000. And their strength is just as abysmal. Yeah, say nothing to worry about. Yeah, 65,000 experience points. As it reads random code. So getting to max level would be very simple. So yeah, and then you can just walk back. And I can use this code to uh, get to places I shouldn't be. You'll also notice that uh, the second character does not follow your movements. Like he starts walking backwards and forwards. So let's see if I can get to uh, Bohai and fight Boo Boo again. And actually, you can beat the game in about two minutes just by doing this code. Uh, you go to the area like right before the end and then do the end. Where the hell is that castle? It's right here somewhere, right? There it is. <laughs> you killed my brother, even though he's right there. I can just wipe him out. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, essentially what I wanted to show you. I wanted to test the uh, the waters when it came to Lupu, and kind of d more disappointing than I thought it was going to be. I thought he kind of chased you throughout Yuan Shu's realm. He didn't. Um, I also thought that he would probably chase you through Yuan Shao's realm too. He didn't. Or Dong Zhuo, rather. He, he didn't. Uh, so essentially, if you don't get him where you're supposed to get him, you kind of lose out, so... I mean, you may be able to get him during the Dong Zhuo fight, but I didn't really try. So, yeah. Alright, so that's my bonus episode of uh, Destiny of the Emperor. I hope you enjoyed the series, and uh, hope to see you on the next episode. Um, not sure what the game is after this one. Um, might be... Uh, I'm thinking of a Game Boy game. So, there's that. Um, there you go. <laughs> so, hope to see you on the next one. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.